I have two shotguns. In my home, they're locked in a safe. There's a metal gun case. We live in an area that's wooded, somewhat secluded. And I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony and fire two blasts outside the house. Black shotgun. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have the Dickinson Arms TAC-4 pump action, 12 gauge. Below it's my Charles Daly 601 DPS for comparison, semi-auto and pump. Now as you can see, there's not much difference. One's semi-auto and one's a pump. Benelli's Benelli M4s in cost like two grand. See, at least this game's threaded. There's no threads in here. So the action release button right here. As you can see, I can't get my finger around it. So I gotta manipulate and go over the top. Big stock. Rock at the front, go string in the rear, adjustable. Right here, adjustable one, two, three. Pretty sure you gotta take the Phillips screws that are in the butt pad. You gotta take them out, and I'm pretty sure it just pops right out. And then you can adjust it from there. This is not a QD mount, like it is on this. It's not a QD mount, so yeah, it's too small for a QD. But there is a rail attachment up front, and there it, it is. You can put a sling through there, but uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna mount it. If I'm gonna mount it right here or down below, if I do it down below, it's gonna wobble over and flip over on me and I'm not gonna like that. Big difference. Sorry. This is a Charles Daly rail. Benelli M4 clone. As you can see, they don't match up. They are off. So I don't know what you can do about a side saddle. I don't know. They're off a little bit. So you won't be able to do that. And then even if you could do this, you gotta cut it off or take the ghost ring off. Even if they didn't match up. So that's a, that's a downer. That's a Debbie downer. Safety on the receiver. And as you can see, I can't reach the action bar release. I can't reach it. So, I don't know, is this is related to Mossberg or whatnot, but I don't know. But I gotta... See, I just can't do it without going over. Simple. 
Now, action bar. I don't know what what major brand makes this kind of action bar. But uh Halfway. That's what the instructions say, so I need a halfway right till that clicks right there. Till the bolt goes back. Yeah, I know I didn't do that right. much oil. I need to wipe that down. And just take it down. Over and all. Dickinson Tac 4. Dickinson Arms Tac 4. I'm going to go shooting it this weekend, but I just wanted to show you guys the new gun that's out there. I don't know when it was released, but I bought it Memorial Day from uh, Mr. Guns online. Uh, buying stuff online these days is, is pretty risky, considering all the scams that are going on out there. But uh, Mr. Guns did me right. Yeah, hold on. It was on sale for what? What does that say? 269 so it is bargain bad thing is Benelli rails this is a Mesa tactical rail that won't fit on there the Dickinson Arms Tech 4 so very disappointed about that so I don't know about a shotgun placard on the side maybe a, a taped on one maybe maybe adhesive strip I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, definitely gonna shoot this this weekend. Well, that's pretty smooth action. My uh, Charles Daly 301 Tactical. The forend was really wobbly. This is pretty freaking secure on here. It ain't going anywhere. I mean, it still wobbles, but not like the Charles Daly 301 Tactical. That thing would wobble back and forth. The action release button it was it was easier to get to. It was, you can use your index finger and, and pop it up. This you really can't. You gotta you gotta manipulate your hand forward a little bit more. Now I did email uh, Dickinson Arms, and uh, if you put a plus one or plus two, uh, if you can figure out the threads on this, if if you add a plus one or plus two extension on here, you'll avoid your warranty. So they recommend buying a, a whole tube, a whole magazine tube, but I do not know the specifics of what tubes will fit. I could try my old uh, 601 Benelli compatible uh, magazine tube, but then I gotta heat this up and take it off. But right now I'm not worried about it. It holds five two and three quarter inch shells, four three inch shells, just one in the tube. This is why I'm not going to go shoot by TAC-4. It's supposed to rain and thunderstorm here very soon. I didn't know if it was going to or not, but uh, it, definitely is, it definitely is rolling in, so I might not even be able to shoot tomorrow because the forecast is uh, saying uh, more thunderstorms. But yeah, it's definitely coming in, coming in hot.